Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. Hi, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Now, um, this is going to go on a, a truther thing, that label that um, Alex Jones, Mark Dice, whoever wants to use this, Sheriff Arpaio. Um, now, there's always been a little rumor around Washington State that Barack Hussein Obama was born here. And so, um, so in a way, don't you, do, does anybody wonder why nothing ever came of this? Well, um, I have a website, and I, I'm going to read to you an email. Um, and this is from... Uh, when Mrs. Stanley Ann Dunham was enrolled at the University of Washington. She was there for autumn 1961 through the winter of 1962, spring 1962. Um, also, the records, uh, resp they were a request, and, and it gives the phone number. The records responsive to your request from the University of Washington are as above provided by the public disclosure, disclosure laws of Washington State. Uh, this concludes the university's response to your public records request. Please feel free to contact our office if you have any questions. And it's Madeline Lawson, the Office of Public Records. Uh, the phone number is 206-543-9180. The reason this is questioned is how could she, Stanley Ann Dunham, have delivered Barack Hussein Obama Jr. in August of 1961 in Honolulu when officially... She was at the University of Washington, and records show her 2,680 2, miles away in Seattle attending classes at that point. Now, there's always been rumors going around Washington State that he was born here. Um, Stanley Ann Dunham lived on Mercer Island, Capitol Hill. She was all over Washington State, and it would only make sense that that's where he would be born. Um... I don't know what to say, except I'm going to put this up. I, I mean, it's too late. He's a lame duck president unless he decides to become a dictator forever. But uh, no one even, and this was actually October 24th, 2008, uh, before he was even elected president, uh, people were trying to say, look, he was born in Washington State, but instead everybody else, the truthers, ran with it. Uh, that he was born in Kenya or here or there, and and yeah, it it's there's a lot of things that are are um, real suspicious because he does use dead people's um, social security numbers and 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 stuff in his college. We have no records of his college, um, <clears throat> so. There, there was something fishy going on, although I do believe his birth was at the University of Washington myself after reading a lot of things. I'm going to leave this link. I just, my problem is, as I'm telling you, even in alternative media, you don't really know who to trust, so you have to climb down these wormholes. And like I said, I've been following rumors of this, and, and for some funny reason, today I decided to look into this. And um, it seems to me that he was born in Washington State. And and for people who said, oh, he was born in Kenya and he can't be our president, I got news for you. After the Act of 1871, their CEOs and they're selected. And it really doesn't matter where the CEO comes from. The United States of America is a corporation, and that CEO can come from anywhere on the planet Earth. But um, just so, I just want to show how some of these quote truthers have thrown a lot of people off trail. And I am real suspect over some. And I'm not going to even name any more names or label them. I'm not a truther at all. I am just searching for the real truth. I don't like the guy. I think he wants to run an empire. Um, I think he wants to put us in martial law and take our weapons away. 
I think he is a suck up to Israel and gives them $8.4 million a day. Um, I just don't like the guy. So I'm going to get off here. Peace. Love. I'm leaving the link below. No fear.